What's the biggest problem in the black community? The man is out from the house. He said, he said the lies we've been taught by the so-called white man. I want to know what you think. Drugs. Drugs. You know what I think? I think the biggest problem in the black community is the single woman that's rearing these young men. I think that's the biggest problem. You understand? And that's a, that's a, a, a result of what? Absent fathers. You understand? So guess what? Are you married? Are you married? So we're looking at what? The biggest problem in the black community. It's right here. You understand? So we say drugs. We say this. We say that. But who is it really? It's ourselves. Right. We gotta fix ourselves. Right. We gotta start to have some respect for who we are as a people. Jesus. All right, you know why we don't respect ourselves? Read that scripture again. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse five. Yeah. The woman should not wear that which pertains unto a man. That's a commandment. That's from God. We didn't make that up. Right. But we say, this Bible is the white man's book. No, it's not. This is the blackest book you'll ever read. Right. You understand? But we reject this because it makes us change who we are. Right. We don't like to change. Right. That's a law for the woman. You understand? Who said that you could do that? The white man said that. Right. That's who said you could do that. The, the black man says, dress modestly. Right. That's what these black men teach. The ones you're looking at, the Israelite man. You understand? We say dress modestly. You know what the black woman says? Y'all are disrespectful. Bring it out. Y'all are disrespectful. You can't tell me what to wear, what not to wear. My brother, come back. My brother, no, you come back because you're a man and you got to set this nation in order. Come back. Come back, come back, come back. Give me Psalm 94, verse 16. Drop that. All right? No, we got to deal with you. You're a man. We need you here with us. Look at that beard you got on your face. You understand? That should, that should demand reverence. Just, just your appearance in itself. A black, old, seasoned man with much wisdom, right? With a full gray beard. That should demand reverence. Right. Should a sister just come put her hand in your face like that and feel comfortable? No. Why? Just because of how you look, right. it says a lot about who you are, who you come from. That's right. You understand? Read what you got. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evil door? Who's going to rise up for the Lord? Are you going to stand for the Lord or are you going to stand for your baby mama? Huh? Are you going to stand for the Lord? Or you gonna stand for your baby mama? You know what that means? Happy wife, happy life. Are you gonna stand for that? Or are you gonna stand for the Lord? You say the Lord. Very good. Well, guess what? Today is the Sabbath day. Did you know that? You, you knew today was the Sabbath day? But these churches, they don't teach keep the Sabbath. They teach keep Sunday. That's what these churches teach. You understand what I'm saying? Give me Genesis chapter 2 verse 3. Say it again. You used to go on Saturday. What happened? My mama died. What, what happened though? You got to carry it on. The problem is what? It's mothers leading the family. That's the problem. That's right. You say you stopped because your mother passed. Well, what happened to your father? You understand? He passed too. Okay. Well, you're supposed to continue that on. The things that you were taught. Read what you got. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 2. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day. The seventh day is Saturday. Today is the seventh day. So we're supposed to be resting. You can't be in a hurry to go where you got to go. You got to be in a hurry to learn the words of God. That's right. That's what you got to be in a hurry to do according to the Bible. You believe in the Bible, right? Yes, you do. You don't? Yes, all praise. Do you believe in the Bible, sis? Yes. So where should you be in a hurry to go? You should be running to the prophets in your city. That's right. To learn the words of God. Right. Who else is going to teach it to you? Wake them up. These church is not going to teach you the word of God. That's right. If they taught the word of God, you wouldn't be dressed like that. That's right. If they if they taught the word of God, you wouldn't be spending money today. Right. If, if, if they taught the word of God, you wouldn't be spending money today. It's the Sabbath day. Right. You'd be resting today. Right. Come on. And he rested on the seventh day. On what day? On the seventh day. Come on. From all his work. From all what? From all his work. From all his work. When the black, when are black men and black women going to unify keeping God's commandments? Wake him up. When is that going to happen? We reject God's commandments and then we, we complain to the Lord when we're suffering the curses. We complain. Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Do you know where you come from according to the Bible? What did your pastor teach you? Who did he say you were? All praise. You say you're an Israelite. I don't care what he said. Come and ask for the brother. All right? You said you was going to stand up. I believe you. 
You know what I'm saying? I believe, cause you can't, guess what? You can't stand up for your people if you don't know who you are. That's right. How you gonna stand up for your people if you don't know where you came from? Make it play. Who you gonna fight for? Who you gonna fight against? You understand? You gonna fight for the enemy. That's what you gonna fight for. You gonna fight for, the, you know how we fight for the white man today? We let our sisters go outside, dress them modestly. You understand? We let our young men grow up and have a girlfriend. You got children? You don't have no children at all. All praises. You got family members that you care about? Did you tell them not to have a girlfriend and a boyfriend? That's how we failed our communities. That's how we failed our families. You understand? We gotta rise up against the evil. Otherwise, whose side are we on? Whose side are we on? Bring it up. We on the enemy side. Bring it up. Give me First Corinthians chapter one and verse ten. According to God's word, that's why we're out here to teach our people to repent from all of your sins. Right. My sister, what did your pastor tell you sin was? What did your pastor tell you that sin was? What did, what did he say sin was? When he taught you what? Say it again. Separation from God. In what way? In what way? Make it more clear for us so we can all understand. Hold that. Say it again. Disobedience and idol worship. It's broader than that. These are things you never learned by your pastor. Right. Read what you got. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Sister, listen good. We're going to make it very plain what sin is. Young man, come close. Don't send him away. We need you to keep your son here. He needs to hear these things. You understand? He has to hear you, you, the grandson has to hear these things. That's up. a young prophet right there. That's you right. don't even know yet. How you, how you gonna learn how to carry himself? Who gonna teach him? You gonna teach him? You see all these men? That's why we here. Right. We gotta be an example for him. Don't send him away. Keep him here. Bring That's right. Up. Come on. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So what's sin? The Bible just made it real plain for you. Transgression of what? Did you hear that, sis? Did you hear that, sis? What sin then? Repeat it for me so I know you understand. What sin? Right, which is, make it plain for me because he might not understand it. What's the transgression, young man? Hold on, what's the transgression, young man? Say it again. He said he don't really know. So make it plain so he understands. What's the transgression so he understands? What's it mean to transgress the law? What's your name? Say it again. Tyrell? Tyrell? Kyrell. Kyrell. Speak up, sir. Right, speak up so I can hear you. All right, it's okay. You understand? We are not going to bite you. We're here to build you up. Right. We're going to turn you into a lion. Right. You're going to roar. That's you understand? That's what you're going to do. All right, so don't be scared. You understand? Don't be scared. Now, ma'am, right? Yep, you. To transgress means to do what? So he can understand. To trans, if you transgress God's law, did you keep the law? If you if you transgress God's law, did you keep the law that God gave you? If you transgressed it, no. What did you do? What did you do to the law? If you, I want him to understand what transgressing is, right? So if if, if you transgress God's law, did you keep the law? Or did you break the law? You broke the law. So young man, what's it mean to transgress God's law? It means to break the law. Very good. You understand? It means to break the law. So sin, according to the Bible, means to do what? Transgression. Means to do what? Transgression. Trans which means what? So he can understand. Sin to sin against God, which means to do what to his law? Break to break his law. Yeah. That's what it means. You understand? Matthew, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Go back to where you were. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 10. Come on. Now I beseech you, brethren. Brethren, my sister. Believe it or not, we are part of the same family. That's my right. brother, my brother with all the books in his hand, we are part of the same family. Right. You understand? Everybody that can hear my voice out here, God has called you to hear the voice of the prophet. Right. Read on. Now I beseech you, brother, by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come on. That ye all speak the same thing. We should all be speaking the same thing. But how many churches are in this shopping center? Bring it up. How many churches are in this shopping center? Bring it up. Are they speaking the same thing? No. If they were speaking the same thing, it would just be one church. Right. You understand? If they were speaking the same thing, then we would all be fellowshipping on the Sabbath day. Right. If they were speaking the same thing, wouldn't nobody be buying or selling. Right. That wouldn't be happening. But guess what? 
These pastors don't teach God's law. You understand? So the whole congregation is living in sin. And then you wonder why things are going wrong in your life. You're like, I'm paying my tithes, but guess what? Christ, Jesus Christ never said pay tithes. You won't read that in the Bible. But we pay our tithes every week and then hope for something good to happen to us. That's not written here. We're still living in the curses. Jesus. You understand? Read on. That ye all speak the same thing. When we gonna speak the same thing out here? When we gonna tell a woman, you need to dress like a woman? Right. When we gonna tell the men, hey, stop shaving your beard off. That's effeminate. Right. You understand? Tell the sisters, don't wear pants. That put a manly spirit on you, sister. Don't right. do that. When we gonna start to have enough love for the people that we say are our own right. to correct them. Right. When we gonna do that? Right. Where are them? This is a man right here, he said he gonna do it. Where the rest of them in there? You gonna do it? You gonna stand up against the evil? Yes, right. You said he gonna do all praise to the Most High. Right. Come on. And that there be no division. That there be what? No division. No what? No division. It's not supposed to be no divisions no. in the black community. Right. Right. It's not supposed to be no divisions in the black community. Right. Right. But guess what? We got Negroes, and then we got Spicks, we got Latinos, right. we got Bloods, we got Crips. Right. We got all these divisions right. in the black community. But what did the Bible say? That there be no divisions among you. There should be no divisions in the black community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. in